You see where we sit in the divisional race, seven and a half games behind the leader, the Cardinals. For the month of June, you will see literally no Reds franchise action. We are going to take a look at the Miners. We're at the bottom of the division. We're seven games out of a wild card spot. And honestly, I want to get a look at what some of the guys down there are doing. If you've been watching since the very beginning, you know Brandon Williamson started at the major league level. He didn't pitch that well in two games. 0-1, 10.5 ERA and a 2.33 whip, so we sent him down. And he is going to strike out the first batter, Nick Sogard, to begin the ball game. Next batter, Sedane Rafaela, is also going to suffer the same fate. Back to back punch outs for Williamson. You will see some other minor leaguers in this. I just want to focus on a couple because only a couple are really even remotely viable. He gets the fly out to end the inning. Elliot Dilla Cruz will be one of them, and he'll be leading off the next half inning. Here he is in his first plate appearance, and he's going to ground this one right past the lazy attempt by the second baseman. Nonetheless, you will also see Jay Allen and one other guy. Can't remember. Ah, Michael Ciani. You will also see him, though. If things get close, we'll kind of jump into the game as well. No big deal. Austin Romine with a runner at first, and he's going to bloop this one in the right center, and Ellie Dela Cruz is going to hustle to third. Runners at scoring position as the veteran gets himself a hit. Jay Allen at 301, and a check swing? I'm not even sure what that was. Doesn't matter, unfortunately. Neither will his plate appearance. Williamson back to the mound, and he's going to strike out Devlin Granberg. The first out in the second. Does the same to Marcus Wilson. That's back-to-back -back punch outs and back-to-back -back innings. For Williamson, he's looking real good. Nico Goodrum, a veteran, is going to hit this one into left field. And unfortunately, Louisville, no, sorry, Worcester will not. It ain't the only board. Michael Ciani is going to work the walk, so it's good to see. Good to see as he's facing Wick Wickenowski. Oh boy, I'm going to butcher a lot of names. Ellie La Cruz, unfortunately, is going to ground out to end the second. Williamson back on the mound and off his fifth strikeout. And about seven or eight batters. Caleb Hamilton, strikeout, but it's dropped in the throw to first. Chucky Robinson is usually the catcher, but I've got him playing first because he's got some positional versatility. Jay Allen going to step back up to the plate runners at first and second he's going to hit the sinker into right field and oh the right field is unable to corral it one run will score and allen will be safe at second that is an rbi double for him that is another individual i really want to see he's 20 years old so hopefully he is here for the long run williamson gives up his first hit here in the fourth and it is a double by nick sogard Rafael can drive him in, but eh, Williamson getting a little, a little, I don't know, slippery in the fingers, missing on that curveball. As Tristan Casas will strike out looking on the same curveball his teammate was awarded first base with, Devlin Greenberg. Liner into right field. The runner from second is going to score. Who is this in right field? That was such a lazy attempted throw like were you really that unconfident in your ability throw the damn ball and yeah, runners at the corners and Marcus Wilson striking out on a curve ball okay Williamson seems to have gotten his control back on this pitch Ooh, way inside you know that lefty curve looks all really like something hanging up there ground ball over third base and in the left field foul territory, Nico Goodrum comes up with an RBI. And just like that, it goes from 2-0 to 3-2. Things change that quickly here, even in the minors. Dude, relax. It's only the fourth inning. Come on, this game's far from over. Narcisco Crook hits it to third base as well. It's going to kick off of that man's glove, but unfortunately, everybody will have to stay put. It's Worcester's looking to... Drop some runs. Christian Koss hits the fastball into right field. It is into the gap, but not all the way to the wall. The center fielder will throw it back in, and just like that, it is five to two. It does not take much in baseball, man. You string a couple hits together, and 
get some runs on the board. Caleb Hamilton hits this to right field, runner second, and Williamson will finally get out of Dodge. And unfortunately, that is the last we would see of him. He would only go four innings. Victor Santos in, in relief. Siani, runner second. Oh, he's going to chase the changeup 80 miles an hour. Chucky Robinson is stranded at first for the time being. La Cruz can drive him in. He does have 15 ribbies. Average not too well, but in the last eight games he's played, he has scored seven times. But we're not concerned about him scoring. We're concerned about him driving in runs. Can he show the clutch sheen? He's not going to be able to do so. S swinging and missing at a slider. A little too damn far inside. No, it would have been a cold strike regardless. His timing was just off. It is what it is. All right, Ray versus Sam Martin, someone we have seen at the major league level. He's not going to be there anytime soon. We have replaced him. As a matter of fact, we'll have some other guys that we're replacing, some gentlemen at the major league level, because we've got guys like TJ Antone and Justin Dunn, who will, listen, uh, we need all that we can get, and Antone's pretty damn good. Jay Allen working the walk. TJ Hopkins, ground ball kicks off of Santos's foot. He's going to fire the first, and he's going to be able to get that runner out, and I think they're going to check on him. Who's going to check on him? It is actually his teammate, the catcher. And Santos is going to wave off the training staff. Fly ball by Solak. So the runner at second is not going to advance. Two five. Worcester up five. Two. Santos goes out for the sixth and it kicks off of his ankle again. Dude, what you got? A metal ankle or something? You channeling your Kurt Schilling? That probably should have been said. Anywho. De La Cruz striking out yet again. The inside low pitch is doing him in today. Jay Allen getting another opportunity to get a second hit. And he's going to lace this one over second base and into right field. The run will stay put. No, actually he'll advance to third. So the tying run will come to the plate. Yeah, stap him up. Listen, any successes we can get at this point, we will take. Hopkins, check swing. That is a terrible call. I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. De La Cruz, ground ball too short, and oh boy. Unfortunately, Williamson giving up five runs earlier. He's probably gonna cost this team. Romine strikes out as the Worcester Red Sox do get the victory here at AAA. Let's take a look at Double A. Devlin Granberg, the player of the game, he hit a two-run shot earlier. It's Austin Kendrick is a man I'd like to take a look at. He is an outfielder. Again, I'm turning over every stone that I can. Michael Triana is going to hit this curveball into left field. It's going to roll the th throw to the plate. It is way off the line. Triana is not a guy I'm focused on looking at, but hey, I appreciate you coming through the clutch. Maybe you'll get your opportunity at some point. Christian Encarnacion Srand, whose name is so long, MLB The Show can't even put it in properly. Fly ball into right field. You would think with Dom Thompson Williams being in the game that they would, you know, add more characters. Whatever. Nonetheless, Matt McLean, a guy that I honestly had him benched because stamina, you know, guys are tired. Nonetheless, the AI subs him in, so it is what it is. Austin Kendrick is gonna get the hit by pitch. Triana get another opportunity to drive a run. It's going to be a fly ball into center field, but unfortunately, Kelly Thompson's defense is going to prevent that. And Carnacio Strand does lead the team in home runs with seven as he hits this one into right field, but not enough air under it to get him number eight. He will be at first. Brian Ray. Ooh, swing and a miss on this changeup. Sliding in is Encarnacion Strand. We'll just call him CES for short. Gets his third stolen base of the year. Brian Ray, ah, uh, damn. Change up, off speed, can't connect either way. Jose Barreo, who does have major league time, but and he was on the opening roster, but I said, uh, I'm going to let you get some, some, some minor league time. Get your bats at bats there, because you're just not going to get it at the major league level. Maybe if an injury happens, we will see him. Thompson's day is done, and the Smokies are going to go to Bailey Horn. Austin Kendrick with the team up one is going to chop this one to second base. And unfortunately, he will ground out. CS at the plate. Can he get another? Oh, oh can't get on base, but he will get the Shoryuken from the umpires. He strikes out looking. 
Matt McLean gets an opportunity, chops it to second, and oh, come on, come on. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead. It's only one run, and y'all know how I feel about one run leads. Randy Wynn pitching very well in this shutout thus far, gets a fly ball to left field. Very well may continue to pitch, though we're going to play it safe and ooh, call on nut off. Yo, what a kind of name is that? Hey, um, two relievers up as Randy Wynn. 86 pitch and ooh, 86 and you're dead. Preciado comes through big time with a long ball to right field as the Smokies tie the ball game up. And yeah, Wynn knew that that one was going. The millisecond it came out of his hand, 92 miles an hour. I mean, hey, you swing early enough, bang. Hell, your grandmother might hit that one out. Teammates are gonna cheer him on, dap him up. No pressure for Preciado. And he hit that a long way. Listen, you hit him that far, even in the minors, feel free to stand. You never know how many of them you're going to get. You never know when the last game is going to be. Randy Wynn going to be called to the showers. His day is done. He cannot get the loss, but he won't get a win here. Triana is going to strike out rookie 96 on the outside corner, and he is not happy about that. But fortunately, he knows when to walk away. Kirk Casale, the veteran, hits it to left field. Come on, can we get a run so we can close this one out in nine? CES, can he get a second hit? No, ground ball up the middle of the shortstop. Fire, spin, toss, what a throw. Jeez, he jumped to the bottom of the knife and Nwangu is gonna strike out looking. But they had to go to first base to make sure. I don't know how you can ask the first base umpire to make that call when they can barely see it. They can barely see plays at first. Nonetheless, Brandon Little is going to be asked to come up big. Brian Ray is saying, uh-uh, I'm going to come up big. As it is a hit to center field, Chattanooga is going to go up 2-1, but remember the extra innings rule does make it advantageous for the bottom of the inning. Team to get a run as back-to-back -back hits okay McLean can he extend the lead it's a pop-up to short come on come on guys I really shouldn't be this invested in I'm supposed to be looking at individual players chopper the second back to short and the throwback the first is going to cause the runners at first and third to be safe so we still see one more batter Justice Thompson and he's going to strike out he got way out in front of that pitch that makes no sense. Anyway, Daniel Duarte is going to get the save opportunity. There is a runner at second. Can't help but remind y'all because MLB will not change the rule. Anywho, you'll get Mr. Jared Young to strike out. He was one for three, and he will now be one for four. Andy Fisher is going to warm up just in case this game goes even longer. It really doesn't take much. As Owen Casey. Hmm? Okay, pitch on the outside. Damn, Preciado has done damage, so we don't want to put him up in a pressure situation. Hopefully, we can get a double play somehow. There's a runner at second, and the changeup misses. Come on, don't give him a chance to get a three run blast to end it. So, we we'll change outside corner. Okay, getting him the chase. Maybe come back with a fastball high. And nope, not gonna happen. It's Duarte. It's gonna walk him. The tying run will be at first. But it is Preciado's job to drive him in. He does have a solo shot. He is 5 of 13 this series with two ribbies. Can he come up clutch for a second time today? 2 2. Swing and a miss. 95 inside and high. Probably where Wynn should have put it, and he would have had his own last name in his stat book. Anywho. Luke Jordan, ground ball to, sorry, Levi Jordan, underhand toss by Triana, and we're gonna win this game. Ooh, escaping very narrowly, two to one in extras. If you wanna see more minor league action, let me know down in the comments section. Ooh, I didn't think I'd be this invested in it, but hey, let me know how y'all feel. I will holler at y'all later. It's important to look at the minors to see who's on the come up. Daniel Duarte, player of the game. I'll let you on the next one. Peace out.